Learn how to color with Eddie. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's my skeleton costume. I love carnival. Oh, and where's your costume, by the way? You're a bit absent-minded today, aren't you? Well, no matter. We can color in some carnival masks and wear them as a costume. And what is it? Don't you fancy coloring? Oh, that's right! We've already done that! Now I'm the one who's absent-minded! <laughs> that's okay! Let's do something else! What do you say? We put on carnival makeup! <laughs> I can see you really love doing your makeup! I prefer coloring, though! And what about you guys? Which activity do you prefer doing with Eddie? Coloring, playing dress up, cooking? You can tell him in the comments! Alright, Eddie! Let's put away these coloring pencils! And let's bring out your makeup kit and get closer to you! Yes, that's better! First, we have to apply a white foundation so that the other colors stand out more, okay? Great! Close your eyes, while we carefully make up your face. We can't leave any blank spaces. There! And now let's make your eyes pop with this eyeliner. It's important because we're going to apply more makeup later. That's right! Carnival is all about happiness and colors. Come on, pick one. Purple! We haven't used that one in a while and I love it. Let's draw a diamond. Like when you dressed up as a Harlequin, remember? <laughs> well, it's not a perfect diamond, but that's okay. <laughs> Can I have another try? <laughs> but pick a different color now. Mm. Pink! Great! It's your favorite! Carefully. This one's turned out better. And now, some dots on your <laughs> cheek. <laughs> Does this tickle? All done! And what about your other eye? <laughs> you want all of the colors? All right, a rainbow coming right up! Close your eyes! This rainbow is going to turn out amazing, you'll see! You've had a great idea, ready? Mm. You're going to have the best carnival makeup out of everyone! Or the most colorful one, at least! <laughs> Done! I think we're done with the sponge for now, but we can do something more. Uh -huh. Let's apply some lipstick. You look funnier <laughs> this way. <laughs> and lastly, the magic touch. Ready? Glitter rain! <laughs> Perfect! Now you're ready for the wildest of carnivals, Eddie! <laughs> Hi, Eddie! Oh, wow! I can see you're preparing everything for a party! <laughs> I'm sure you're going to have a great time! Is everything ready? <laughs> you know what? I've just thought of a great idea! What if you dress up as a clown at your own party? You're going to have an amazing time, you'll see! But do you know how clowns do they make up? <laughs> no, Eddie! That's a Native American! Don't worry, we'll do it together! Here we go! Okay, we'll need your makeup kit! <laughs> Check out all of these colors, Eddie! You're going to look fantastic! Are you ready? <laughs> Alright, we have to start with the base! What color should we use? <laughs> White, exactly! Before starting with the details, we have to cover your face in white! Perfect! Now we're going to draw the parts of the face! So, we have the eyes and the mouth and once everything is drawn, let's color it in. <laughs> what color would you guys use for your clown's makeup? And what about you, Eddie? What color do you want for your eyes? <laughs> Green! Oh, and blue too! <laughs> Very well, good thinking! The more colors, the better! Great! I had to say, Eddie, this go great together! Okay, and what about your mouth? <laughs> Perfect! Red is the best color for your mouth! Here we go, a big <laughs> smile! And since we're at it, pink blusher will give you a perfect touch! Done! 
But hang on a second, I feel like we're missing something. Oh, of course, your color wig. How could I forget? I think it's somewhere around here. Yes, here it is. Check this out, I have a surprise for you. I'm pleased to introduce you to Eddie, the clown. Is everything ready, Eddie? Great! In that case, let's go to the Brazilian carnival! We're going to have an amazing time with the people, the dancing, the music, the costumes. You'll see! What is it, Eddie? Don't tell me you forgot your costume! You're a disaster, Eddie! What did you even pack into your suitcase, anyway? <laughs> You're only bringing loads of chocolate and maracas! <laughs> They're really fun! But you also need a costume! What do you say we dress you up as an animal? A parrot? Great! That's the perfect costume! It's very colorful! <laughs> and what about you guys? What are you going to dress up as this year? You can tell us in the comments! Come on, Eddie, we don't have much time! Our plane leaves shortly! Let's see... Animal costumes... We have lots of stuff, Eddie! But what could we use? Are you sure, Eddie? Think it through! Are parrots fish or birds? Hmm. That's right, they're birds! They have wings and feathers, so... <laughs> That's it, Teddy! We're taking the feathered skirt! See what I was telling you about colors? Parrots come in so many colors! Almost as many as the rainbow! <laughs> come on, let's do the next part! I'm sure it'll be easier to pick from now on! <laughs> That's it, Teddy! On the first try! <laughs> the colors, the feathers... That one was easy! Isn't it cool? <laughs> but there's still something very important missing! What could it be? Horns? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I think you got it wrong, Eddie! <laughs> Parrots don't have horns! Or a mouth, either! Because they have... <laughs> beaks! Well done! <laughs> and done! Here is your parrot costume! But as you know, the Brazilian carnival is very special! So your costume needs a special touch! This incredible feather crown! Ready? Here it is! Isn't it just amazing? Wait, let me help you! <laughs> it's a tad heavy, isn't it? <laughs> All right, Daddy! <laughs> Let's go to the carnival! <laughs> Hi, Eddie! <laughs> Today we're going to pick out a costume for carnival! <laughs> I knew you'd like the idea! <laughs> well, check it out, Daddy! I have a bunch of wigs for you to choose from! Let's begin, then! Let's see, which one do you want to try on first? The blue one! Great, Teddy! Let's see how it looks on you! Ha ha ha! You look great! Do you want to keep this one or try on a different one, Eddie? Very well! We put the blue wig away and we try on the green wig! Here we go! Ha ha ha! I can see you're not sold on the green one! So let's take it off and put it back in its place! And let's see, Eddie! Pick out another wig! The black wig, Eddie! Let's see how it looks on you! Ha ha ha! You look great, Eddie! Oh, but you don't like this one, Ada! Hmm, no problem! Let's try on a different one! Alright, Eddie! It's time to choose another wig! You've picked the blonde wig, my favorite! Let's see how it looks on you! What do you think, Eddie? Do you want to dress up in this wig? Ha ha ha! I can see you don't like it, Ada! Look at your face! Don't worry! We take off the blonde wig and put it back in its place! Eddie, do you want to try on a different one, Eddie? This wonderful rainbow color wig! Done! Do you like this one, Eddie? 
Great, Eddie! You've chosen the rainbow colored Wii! Congratulations! It's very colorful and fun! Just like you! Ha ha ha! And you guys! What Wii will you wear for carnival? See you on our next video! Hurry up, Eddie! You're going to be late for the theater class! The play starts in half an hour! Are you ready? <laughs> what on earth are you wearing, Eddie? Uh -huh. I think you might be a little lost. Are you sure you know what character oh. you play? <laughs> You're the Harlequin, which is a, a clown of sorts. <laughs> You'll see. Take off those clothes and come with me. Did you guys see Eddie's outfit? <laughs> you can tell him in the comments which of his costumes you like the best. <laughs> Here we go, Eddie! Let's see... So you should wear something that's... Colorful! Uh? Eddie, the astronaut uh -huh. suit is fun, but it's not all that colorful, though. Have a proper look. Yes, that's an actual Harlequin suit! Look at all the colors and shapes! <laughs> Let's keep going! What about your feet? Are you sure, Eddie? You won't have lots of room for roller skating on stage. <laughs> That's it! Those shoes are so much fun! And they have sleigh bells that jingle when you walk! <laughs> Come on, we need something for your head next! Your pick! <laughs> I see you're getting the hang of this! It's perfect for your suit! It also has sleigh bells! But there's still something missing. We have to paint your face. <laughs> you love making yourself up, don't you, Eddie? You'll see, it's similar to a clown's makeup. First, we use the color white. That's it, all over your face. And now we draw two diamonds. Let's see, close your eyes. That's it, one in the color purple. <laughs> Wait! Don't be so impatient! And the other one in the color red! There! Perfect! Come on, Eddie! We're running late! And our chocolate cake is finished, Eddie! It looks great, doesn't it? But we can't try it yet, okay? It's for dinner! Of course! We can also add some syrup! Oi! Stop it, Eddie! Uh -huh. You wanted to distract me so you could wrap some, didn't you? <laughs> well, you'll have to do better than that. You'd need to be a ninja to get past me. Uh -huh. Don't you know what a ninja is? They're Japanese warriors trained to be fast and silent. Oh. I have an idea. Would you like to dress up as a ninja? <laughs> you'll get it in a sec. <laughs> Come on, let's have a look in your wardrobe. And what about you guys? Can you think of any other costumes for Eddie? You can tell us in the comments and we'll try them out! Ready, Eddie? Let's start with your top! Let's see if you can guess what a ninja would wear! A tracksuit? They'd wear it for training, maybe? But they wear something more discreet when they go on missions! That's it, Eddie! That's the ninja suit jacket, aka a shinobi shosoku! <laughs> That's how you say it in Japanese! And what about your bottoms, Eddie? Your football shorts? <laughs> I told you ninjas were fast, not that they were football players! Yes, those are ninja trousers! Besides, they're the same color as the jacket! Ninjas wore black, so as to go unnoticed in the dark! Okay, now we need something that holds your outfit together. What should we put around your waist? Exactly, Eddie! A belt! You're a ninja expert! But ninjas don't go around barefoot. We need to find you some shoes. I can see you eyeing those fins, Eddie. But we're not going scuba diving! <laughs> I see you're getting the hang of it, Eddie! <laughs> These are called the Tabby Trainers! <laughs> They're for moving quickly and stealthily! We just have to cover up your face with this hood! And now you're ready for your mission! 
Where are you going? Oh no, the cake! Oh, thank God! I got here before he did. Where did he go? Eddie, no! Uh, he seems to have become a true ninja! <laughs> Hi, Eddie! We've been invited to a costume party! <laughs> Great, Eddie! What do you want to dress up as? As a princess! That's so original, Eddie! Well, check out all of the stuff we have here, Eddie. Now you just have to pick out what you want to wear. You pick out a pair of boots. <laughs> Do you think that it's something a princess would wear, Eddie? Ooh. You realize it, huh? <laughs> well, let's take off the four parted boots. And put on this princess shoes. And now you have to choose a skirt, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, are you sure your inflatable rubber ring is a skirt? That's it, Eddie. Now this is a princess skirt. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. You have to pick out a top and a pair of gloves. Okay, Eddie. Let's try on these gloves. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, of course, Eddie. Those are over mitts, not princess gloves. Well done, Eddie. I'm sure this will look great on you. <laughs> let's keep going, Eddie. Now you have to pick out... Come on, let's put on a piece of clothing you've selected. Come on. Now you have to pick out the wig, Eddie. Which one do you like best? Very well, let's try on this wig. <laughs> It looks great on you, Eddie! And now only the most important part of the princess costume is left! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you look like with this on! <laughs> You've realized it, haven't you? Let's put the pirate hat away! And let's put on the tiara! And now you're dressed up as a princess, Eddie! And you guys, what's your favorite custom? Please let us know in the comments. We can't wait to find out. See you on our next video. Hi, Eddie. Oh, why the face, Eddie? What's the matter? Oh, I know. You're hot, aren't you? Well, of course you are. Summer's here. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. It's just summer is not for staying indoors, you know. Do you fancy going to the beach? We could swim underwater so as to refresh ourselves. <laughs> that cheer you up, didn't it? Well, let's dress you for the occasion then, shall we? I was thinking we could do something different today. What do you say, instead of dressing you up as a scuba diver, we dress you up as a mermaid? This way you will be able to swim with all the other sea animals. Come on, let's not waste any time. Let's see, Eddie. What could we use for your legs? <laughs> your trunks? Yes, I mean, that's what you'd normally wear to the beach. <laughs> but do you remember what mermaids are like? Hmm. They look like regular people from the waist up. But from the waist down... <laughs> they have a fish tail! Well done, Eddie! <laughs> you look really funny! <laughs> but just think that you're going to be the king of the seas! And what should we use for your head? <laughs> your bicycle helmet? Let's see how it looks on you. <laughs> this way you won't get hurt if you run into a fish. <laughs> but don't you think that the king should wear something a little more distinguished? <laughs> That's it, Teddy! The crown! See? Now you're the king of the seas! <laughs> Let's keep going! <laughs> what should you wear around your neck, Eddie? <laughs> well done, Eddie! This seashell necklace will be perfect! And now I have a surprise for you, Eddie! <laughs> what could it be? It's a magical trident, Eddie! It once belonged to a sea god! Let's hope it still has its powers! <laughs> Great! It still works! Check it out, Eddie! I think this dolphin wants to be friends with you! What are you waiting for, Eddie? Follow it! Now you can swim as well as it! Hi, Eddie! Are you reading a story? Which one? Cool! 
It's the story we wrote to learn the letter I. I love how it turned out. <laughs> we should do it again and write another one. Any ideas, Eddie? Eesh. Me neither. But I'm sure our friends have loads of them. <laughs> That's it. You can leave your ideas or characters for a new story in the comments. Let's see who is more original. <laughs> oh, by the way, Eddie, who was your favorite character from the story? <laughs> the Indian. <laughs> I really like him too. I just thought of something. Why don't we dress you up as an Indian? <laughs> I'm sure there's something in your wardrobe we could use. <laughs> Ready, Great Chief Eddie? Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't make that face. Indians have names like that. <laughs> and do you know what kind of trousers they wore? <laughs> you got it wrong this time. Mm. It was cowboys who wore jeans, remember? <laughs> now you got it, Eddie. A true Indian would wear these brown leather trousers. <laughs> And what about your top? What would Great Chief Eddie wear? Are you sure, Eddie? Let's try it on! I think a lumberjack living in the mountains might wear this shirt! <laughs> Though this waistcoat actually matches the leather trousers, check out the design! I'm sure it's an Indian waistcoat! You're missing one more thing! <laughs> I think you're getting it, Eddie. Yep, it's this necklace. <laughs> Have you seen all of the ornaments? They set apart different tribe members and indicated their role. Oh, oh by the way, do you know what else set them apart? <laughs> Makeup! Your favorite part! <laughs> they would paint their faces for some rituals. And also for battle, so as to scare their enemies. They were very brave warriors, just like you, Great Chief Eddie. That's why we'll use black around your eyes, so that you look fiercer. <laughs> and we paint a red line, the color of your tribe. We paint it right underneath. Perfect, Great Chief Eddie. You're only missing one more thing, Great Chief Eddie. A headdress belonging to a gold crest warrior. Now you can play around all you like, Eddie! <laughs> You're a true Comanche! Hi, Eddie! It's really cool that Carnival is just around the corner! I can't wait to dress up! And you? Are you making something? Is that a mask? So cool! Let me have a look! Well, I think uh -huh. there's room for improvement. Oh. Don't worry, I'll help you. Have you thought of any shapes? <laughs> A butterfly! Great! It's easy to make and it'll look amazing, you'll see. <laughs> you guys can also make it at home, so pay attention. <laughs> you can also tell us in the comments what you're going to dress up as for carnival. <laughs> Let's see, do you have everything you need? Scissors, glue, cardboard, sticks. Perfect! Let's do this! First, we draw the shapes we have to cut out on the cardboard. It's best if we use different colors because it'll look even prettier. Once we have the shapes, we cut them out. As you can see, we have drawn two sets of wings. One larger and one smaller. And then, this little worm, which is the butterfly's body. <laughs> now we just have to glue all three parts together. Oh. Just so. Careful not to make a mess. We glue the body to the little wings. And these to the larger ones. And... Done! <laughs> Here is our butterfly! <laughs> but it's not finished yet, Eddie! <laughs> Can't you see it has no holes? You wouldn't see anything this way! 
We have to cut out some, and we can also decorate it while we're at it. How about it? <laughs> First, we draw the shape of the eyes with a pencil. Yes, right around the center and leaving enough room. And now we cut them out with the scissors. Perfect! Now we can see! Now we can decorate it with stickers like these. There are flowers, hearts, stars. <laughs> and now, for the magic touch, loads of glitter! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you love how it's turned out. But there's something missing, Eddie. Uh -huh. Yeah, how are we going to hold it up? Do you have an elastic band? Don't worry, Eddie. There's another solution. If you guys don't have an elastic band to hold it up, you can make do with a pencil or a stick, like an ice lolly stick. <laughs> we place it on the side of the mask and attach it with some cello tape. Perfect, Eddie. Here is our carnival mask. Wasn't that easy? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> okay, then. Let's begin! Once upon a time, a beautiful princess lived in a faraway castle. <laughs> so funny! You look great in Eddie's costume! <laughs> I'm going off script, sorry! She was a beautiful princess who lived happily in her castle. Until a fearsome dragon showed up one day. I said, a fearsome dragon showed up. Uh -huh. You have to pay more attention, Eddie. <laughs> but where's your dragon costume? <laughs> we need a dragon that's slightly bigger and less adorable. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a break from the story so we can dress up Eddie? <laughs> In the meantime, you can start thinking of an ending for our story. And you too, guys! <laughs> what will happen in this story of the princess and the dragon? Tell us in the comments! <laughs> Come on, Eddie! Let's have a look in your wardrobe! I think we have a dragon costume somewhere! <laughs> it's got to be one of these! But which one? <laughs> this one? Okay, let's see! <laughs> I don't know, Eddie. Dragons don't really have brown fur. And their tail doesn't end in a fluffy brush. I think this might be a lion costume. That might be the one, yeah. That's it, Eddie. You guessed it. This one has green and yellow skin and a crest in the back. <laughs> but wait! Uh -huh. It's missing the horns! You can't be a dragon without horns! But don't worry! We'll make them for you! <laughs> Think, Eddie! What yellow item of clothing can we use for the dragon's head? <laughs> That's it! Your rain hat! Hmm, but it's too big though! Uh -huh. We'll just trim it so that it only covers your head! <laughs> Perfect! Can you think of anything we can use as horns? Ice cream cones? You're a genius, Eddie! We add a bit of glue and glue both horns to it. Though they don't really look like horns at all in that color, they might look better if we painted them red, like your paws. There! <laughs> it's turned out perfect, Eddie! <laughs> now we just have to paint your face! Because it doesn't match the rest of your costume! <laughs> uh -huh. Let's see! What colors should we <laughs> use? This green will be perfect! It's the same shade as the rest of your costume! And now we use a darker shade of green to make your mighty nose stand out! That's where Dragonfire comes out of! Uh -huh. Now you're a fearsome dragon! <laughs> Should we finish the story, Eddie? <laughs> 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 wow! I wasn't expecting this ending! Uh -huh. Yay. 
the princess beats the dragon in a basketball match. You're so imaginative. <laughs> I thought the knight in shiny armor would show up to fight the dragon. <laughs> what is it, Eddie? Do you want to change roles and be the knight? <laughs> All right then, let's dress you up again. <laughs> Come on, you've got this. Shoot! Amazing! You've ended up tied. We've had a great time playing princesses and dragons. Though I didn't expect the story to end the way it did, with you two playing basketball. <laughs> Usually, a knight would fight the dragon. What is it, Eddie? Do you want to change roles and be the knight? <laughs> but who will be the dragon then? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's play dress up again. <laughs> Eddie loves tales and stories, especially about princesses. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you guys? What's your favorite story? You can tell us in the comments. <laughs> Great! I found the costume. I hope Eddie doesn't take much longer. What's that noise? Eddie? That's the most voracious dragon I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, Eddie, you're hungry now? We were waiting for you. If you eat too much, you won't fit in your coat of mail. Don't you know what it is? <laughs> Come on, we'll show you. The coat of mail is an item of clothing that middle-aged warriors would wear to protect themselves from their enemies' strikes. <laughs> it's made out of metal rings. <laughs> Do you think you could point it out? <laughs> <laughs> That's your ski jacket! It will protect you from the cold, but not from sword blows. <laughs> Besides, I told you the coat of mail is made out of metal rings. <laughs> Now you got it right, Eddie. I hope it fits you. How does it feel? What is it? It's a tad heavy, isn't it? <laughs> I told you it was made of metal. But look how shiny it is. Now we put on the night tunic emblazoned with your order's crest. That's right, Eddie. Your night order. It's like the warrior club you belong to. <laughs> no, not your basketball club, Eddie. Uh -huh. I mean the team you fight with. The knights that wear your same crest. <laughs> well done! This is it, see? It has your order's crest on it. Uh -huh. The order of the round stone dino knights. Wait, let's tighten it a bit. Pick a belt. A piece of rope? Don't be shabby, Eddie. Oh, I see. You were joking. <laughs> That's it. The belt is the right choice. Wait, Eddie. You can't fight barefoot. You have to pick footwear that is fit for the battlefield. Wow, that was fast. That's right! Fighting in boots makes more sense than fighting in flip-flops or heels! <laughs> All right, Eddie! Let's defeat the dragon! Or, well, let's play in the garden! Si te ha gustado este video, no olvides darle a me gusta y suscribirte al canal. Ah, y también puedes hablar con Eddie escribiéndole a aprendeconeddy.asubio.tv Podrás conseguir un montón de regalos. <risa>